Paul talking. He said, Oh foolish Galatians, who had bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth, crucified among you. Now the word obey there is the word believe. That you should not believe the truth. That's the meaning of that word obey there. It is the word believe. Now, so Paul is saying we have preached Christ to you evidently crucified. That means our message has been the message of his death, his burial, his resurrection. And we have taught you that message evidently crucified among you. So who has bewitched you? The word bewitch is a Greek word meaning to manipulate. Who has manipulated you? And we get the word witchcraft from bewitch. Who has manipulated you? Manipulation means to get someone to do what you wouldn't do normally. To get someone to do what you would not do normally. That is manipulation. And you get somebody to do that by two ways. Number one, either by issuing a threat to the person or by enticing the person. You either threaten the person or you entice the person with something. And today in the church world, there's a lot of manipulation going on. Especially the manipulation of going to heaven. The manipulation of going to heaven. And, and Paul said, anyone we have taught the word of his death, his burial, and his resurrection, and that person allow himself to be manipulated, he is a fool. After teaching you the message of his death, his burial, his resurrection, and you allow another gospel to manipulate you that is the display of folly that's why he called them oh foolish Galatians who has manipulated you who has bewitched you we have taught you the message of his death his burial and his resurrection which is the gospel why have you allowed yourself to be enticed or threatened or intimidated to begin to take your focus off what he has done to try to do what you think you can do that is better than what he has done to end points with God who has bewitched you who has cast a spell on you or who has manipulated you and of course you know the who the who is that preacher the preacher is the bewitcher the preacher who will preach you out of the finished work of Christ is the bewitcher if there's English like that who has bewitched you? So the bewitching is done by a who. The bewitching is done by a who. Who has bewitched you? That is, somebody came in the name of a preacher with another gospel. Enticed you or manipulated you about a place called heaven and gave you criteria that you must meet to qualify. Now the moment criteria are given to you as conditions that you, you have to meet to qualify for heaven, you are being manipulated. You are being manipulated. You are being bewitched. This church was founded by brother Paul. He has spent time to teach them just like I am with you. He has taught them the gospel. He has spent time teaching them the message. And they have understood the full gospel. But they still allowed somebody to bewitch them. Somebody said to them, do so and so, do so and so to make heaven. That's manipulation. That's not the gospel. The gospel is not a bait. The gospel is not a bait. If you do this, I do this. No. The gospel is not a, a casino. If you do, I do. No. The gospel is what he has done. What is the gospel? What he has done. The gospel is built, thrives, and is communicated communicated on the basis of his finished work. The gospel is the message of his finished work. The gospel is not the message of what you can do. The gospel is the message of what he has done. The message of what he has done, which is offered to you, which when you hear and believe, you receive what he has done. Your only contribution is to hear and receive. Teaching good. That's your only contribution. To hear the message of what he has done. Believe it. Now, even the believing, it is the message that will enable you to believe. That is very humbling. <laughs> very humbling. Even the believing, you yourself cannot believe because you like believing. How can they believe on whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without a preacher? So the preacher has to preach the message. The message that is preached comes with the ability to believe. It enables you or it, it, it generates in you faith. That message preached is faith. When you receive that message, you have received faith. That faith gets you saved. That's why the gospel is not going to hell. The gospel is not even going to heaven. The gospel is the message of what he has done. Am I communicating? What is the gospel? The message of what he has done. Not the message of what you will do. But the message of what he has done. Not the message of what he will do. The message of what he has done. I didn't hear a powerful amen.
Thank you, Lord. I say, thank you, Lord. Some people are trying to earn heaven. People are trying to conduct themselves outside the grace of God to make heaven. And that's what the Jews were doing. The Jews were doing their own by circumcision and keeping the laws of Moses. And they thought that by circumcising themselves and keeping the laws of Moses, they qualify. That's what they were doing. They were trying to score points with God. They were trying to earn salvation. They were trying to earn God's approval. And that's what many people are doing today. Trying to score points with God. I fast 40 days. I fast 100 days. I pray 4 hours a day. I give big, big offerings in the church. I am an elder in the church. Therefore, I will go to heaven. You will be disappointed that you will be the gate man in hell. If there's a basis for which you think you will make it. You're not going to make it because you can make it. You're going to make it because Jesus made it on your behalf and you identify with him. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. The gospel is identification with Christ. That's the gospel. Identification with Christ. You don't try to score no point with God. Just accept what he has done. It is his work. Glory to God. What the Jewish people were offering via the law was freely given and I will show you in a short while. So the new covenant gives you liberty. It gives you what? Liberty. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. It says stand fast therefore in the liberty we are with Christ hath made us free. Not in the liberty wherewith Christ will make us free. He hath already made us free. Because salvation and eternal life and walk with God and walking in God is his work. It is not your work. It is his work. Stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Amen. Another manipulation is the message of rapture. Are you rapturable? Are you rapturable? On the last day, on the last, on the last day, holy true. You know this religious voice. Believers shall be raptured. When you come to collect your people, remember me, O oh Lord. Are you the thief on the cross? Even the thief on the cross had more sense. He didn't say when you come to collect. He said when you get to paradise. Today, remember me, Jesus. So we are going together right now. The thief even had more sense. The rapture is not going to be because you are a good guy that you'll be raptured. The rapture is Jesus taking his church. The rapture is the collection of his church. And you are members of his body. You are all members of his body. He cannot go without his body. You are a member of his body. So when, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, everybody that has Christ in him, that's the seal, that's the guarantee. When you have Christ in you, and you have, of course, having Christ is by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is your seal. That is your guarantee for the rapture. Don't let nobody manipulate you and bewitch you by the message of the rapture. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. When you receive Christ into your heart, you became rapturable. The moment Christ entered your heart, you were sealed for rapture. God punished the devil. And you know some people, when they hear us say like this, the next thing they will ask is, so it, it means anything you do, you'll be raptured. Their minds are corrupt. Their minds are corrupt. When we say you are rapturable, did we say anything you do, you'll be raptured? We didn't say that. Neither did we not say that. We didn't say that. Neither did we not say that. But this is what we said. When Jesus came into your heart, you were sealed for? Exactly. Don't put words in our mouths. Stay within the context of what we give to you. Praise God. <laughs> Let nobody manipulate. Let nobody take advantage of you. Eight keys, eight ways, 55 steps. All those are manipulations. All of them. All of them are manipulations. Look at what manipulation does. Galatians chapter 2 verse 4. And that because of false brethren, unawares brought in. What kind of brethren? But they are brethren. They quote the Bible with us. They sound like us, but they are false. That's why I use the word brethren. He didn't say false people. He said false brethren. That means they are among us. They speak our language, but they are false. They have not known the way of God. They are among us. What we are preaching. You have, you, how many of you have ever observed? I, I have observed a great deal. That many people really don't hear anything. You are telling somebody, you are saved by faith in Christ. And he's asking you, so you mean there is nothing I can do to be saved? No, no. Why don't you hear what I said first? Why don't you hear what I said first? Why are you jumping to ask a preset question in your mind? Some people don't just listen. You are saying something and they are trying to say another thing. It's called selective hearing. They are corrupt in their mind. And don't let anybody manipulate you with their religious cap. Praise the Lord. He said, false brethren, unawares brought in. 
What did they come for? Who came in privately to spy out our what? Our liberty. Where do we have that liberty? Which we have in Christ Jesus. Why did they come among us to spy our liberty? That they might bring us into bondage. So that they can bring you back to do that, don't do that, touch that, don't touch that, taste that, don't taste that. Um, five steps, 15 steps, 25 kilometers, 40 centimeters, um, uh, 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 300, 300 ways. There's no such thing. In Christ, it's done, done, done. You are a product of what he has done. There's nothing you can do to improve on what Christ has done. I about shatanda. There is nothing you can do to improve on what Christ has done. He is the height of perfection. And when he did it, he did a perfect job. Your own responsibility today is to receive what he has done. Say with me very loud, I'm a product of the finished work of Christ. We are products of his finished work came in to spy our liberty that they may bring us into bondage. Look at what Paul said they did to them. Verse 5. To whom we gave place by subjection. No, not for an hour. We didn't allow them space to speak. Not even for an hour. Why? That the truth of the gospel might continue with you. We didn't allow them our microphone to confuse you. We didn't give them space to speak that they are nonsense which they themselves don't know what they are talking about. We deny them space so that nobody confuses you so that you can continue in the truth of the gospel. We didn't give them space. We didn't give them space. And if we didn't give them space in this building, you don't give them space in your sitting room. Don't give them space in your car. And don't give them space in your mind. So that the truth of this gospel can continue with you. See, I hear you. Don't give them space. We don't give them space. The first time somebody says something that contradicts the truth of the gospel, I am patient enough to allow him the chance. I will explain. If I explain and he's still asking me that question, I delete him. I don't waste time. We don't give them space. Goodbye. I'm not going to spend time arguing with you. Foolish and unlearned questions. Avoid. If you have not come to the truth, I won't waste my time with you. I will pray for you until you come. But while you are coming, you won't waste my time. We didn't give them space. Not even an hour. So that they will not bring us into bondage. Because that's why they came. To spy our liberty which we have in Christ. Why? That they may bring us back to bondage. So what did we do? We didn't give them any space. Not even an hour to waste our time. I'm teaching good. We didn't give them space. So that the truth of the gospel may continue with you. I love brother Paul. The essence of manipulation is to bring you to bondage. 